Good morning, Mr. Davenport. Uh, uh, uh. You sound like your parents. I, I think I'm an Anderson boy. Brandon Anderson. I could take that. I bet you do. What's your plan for today? I gotta go past my mom's house, but when I get back, we can do this. Uh, no, I would love to do that, but I um, gotta figure out some last minute stuff with Davenport Industries, and um, and I need to get to the bottom of why I found wasn't at the wedding. That's crazy. All this drama that's, that has happened, I didn't even notice her at the wedding. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Well, my sister, I don't know. It could be, who, who knows? Um, I know she's been down here trying to get this new company off the ground and the Security Exchange Commission has been giving her hell, so. But even still, it's still not no excuse to not show up and then no call, no text. So I need to figure it out. Well, anyway, well, I don't want you worrying about that and all that. Right? So, go to my mom's house and handle business. And when we come back, we can finish. Finish what? Oh. Kat, thanks for agreeing to meet with me. Well, of course, Baron. I want to handle this like civilized adults. Lord knows how those vultures can be. Yeah, and we don't need to give those rags any more ammunition to use against the Davenport. Not to mention, I have a business and reputation to uphold, and the last thing I need is a long, drawn-out divorce. Well, I'll give you that. But it really is a shame that we couldn't have worked something out between us. <laughs> if you ask me, I should have never married you in the first place. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? By our end, stop it. But on a lighter note, let's discuss this advertising division you want me to oversee. Okay. So, despite our current woes... I really couldn't think of anybody better to kickstart this new venture than you. And DC's a perfect place for Davenport. Well, to be honest with you, I don't mind expanding my portfolio. Actually, after we're done here, I'm going to meet up with your bro so he can show me this fabulous office space that you've leased out. I can't believe that you were thinking about giving <sighs> it to Fallon for that new business. Cat. <laughs> But I'll be in contact after he and I are done discussing the staffing for this new division. Okay, so in addition to Allura, Chastity and Chadwick would fit in perfectly. Well, to be honest with you, we shall see. Is there anything else I should know? Why have our lawyers talked? I'll call them right after we're done. Well, great. I'm running late anyway. I'll be in contact. Okay. Hello, Richard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and start drawing up the divorce paper. Yeah, yeah, now she said she didn't want anything, but I don't trust her. Yeah, I'll be in touch. Hey, Mark. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. my goodness. It's so good to see you. So good to see you. How you feel? Good, you know, I'm well rested because Good. you tired me out all that dancing at that reception. Uh uh, that's all on you. No, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I ain't no used to have moves like that. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I still got it. <laughs> uh, 
Where was that? Oh, he had to leave early. I'm sure sorry. Yeah, but he has to because we have all these expenses. We got medical bills because I've been sick and it, the transportation costs to and from, it, it's very expensive. And the testing, everything, it's just a lot. And it's been a lot of planning, so. We here for you though, Mom. Yeah, I talk to him. I talk to him. I talk to him. Okay, where's your brother? Ah, he it's had okay. to drop me off. He got to take care of some business with his family before we get going. Well, didn't they enjoy everything? The wedding, the reception, what's the Who? His family. <laughs> uh, it was so funny. <laughs> you are incredible. You just catch everything. And let's just say that family is not the close-knit family you think. Well, you know, I understand that. Because you told me that before. I just thought that it would just be a joyous occasion. You it, know? It was for who it mattered. Me and Jabril. Well, you know, well, that's good. <laughs> and you know, but you too, you really have to keep your bond really, really strong. Okay? I don't want you to do that for me. Okay, because you know I'm I'm not gonna be here much longer, so I love you so much, Mom. And besides me, me and Jibra know that, okay? And we're gonna be good and we have jumped so many hurdles with this family and he let that family know that we're not breaking up at all. And I I think they can. Through, so you make sure that you don't let anybody come between that, okay? Mm -hmm. you. I love you. I love you too. And uh, you're right. We're going to be together, and I'm not letting him go. He's not going to let me go. That's right. That's my baby. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. This place is amazing. From the lighting, the windows, the location. Dad really outdid himself with this. I must agree with you. But we both know your dad has impeccable taste. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that he was thinking about giving this place to Fallon. After all that mess with the SEC last year. <sighs> so I mean, oh. I mean, even though it wasn't proven, I mean, that whole situation kind of it tarnished her reputation. To be honest with you, I tried to warn her myself, but you know how her holding her grudges, that childish behavior. After a while, I just let her fall on the sword, so she gets what she deserves. <sighs> so, how are things with you and my father? I know he was shocked. You actually made it to the wedding. Of course he was. As I intended to do. But, uh, you know, I've always looked at you like a son. And of course, I would miss your wedding. And also, I did tell him that I would come and help you launch the new division. Okay, that's about me. So, anything else you two discuss? Your marriage? Well, to be honest with you, I wouldn't even hate to bring this to you at the beginning of your marriage. But... We decided to get the course. <sighs> Not a long face. But to make it a quick divorce, I'm gonna just, you know, take what I came in with. My name, of course, I worked too damn hard for that. And I want everything that we accomplished together. Damn. I really liked you for my father. I know. Many people did. But to be honest with you, I just stopped liking myself being with him. The man that I fell in love with was no longer there. And to believe he chased me for a whole year. I fought my feelings off for him because, you know, Fowler was my friend at the time. You know, that was the last thing I wanted to do was cross her. 
marry her father. <sighs> She's so crazy. <sighs> with you, there was always a part of your father that he made unavailable to me. I mean, I, I could never touch, I don't know, no matter how much I loved him and how hard I tried, he just would never open up his part to me. And I just couldn't see living the rest of my life, you know, not knowing a man that I'm supposed to love. Wow. Yeah, you're right. Wow. But the best thing that did come of my marriage was the amazing relationship you and I created. Well, you know, that wasn't going to change. Well, I'm happy to hear that because, you know, only if he can be more like you, <laughs> maybe it would have worked. <laughs> change the subject, please. Tell me about it. All right, the reason we're here, let's discuss these junior executives. Before we talk about people who already have said, have somebody I want to add to the list, but he's not in the family, but he'll be a great asset. What was his name? Julian Maxwell. Sure. I think I may have heard the name before. It's your name. I don't trust you, so let's go for it. So, I guess we're pretty much done here. Yeah, because let them come in and clean this. It's like it's so amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm proud of you. Oh, oh, I'm proud of you. Mm. And congratulations again. Mm. Call that piece of work all of you. Where is your mother? She said she'll be here shortly. Why do we all have to be here at the same time anyway? Can't you just tell me what the heck's going on? No, just sit tight. She'll be here any minute. Have, have you spoken to family? I still cannot believe she didn't show up to the wedding. And no call, no nothing. <sighs> Fallon had meetings. You know, she, she was in a meeting again today. She, uh... We also found out that she lost a big contract, so what time is it? Yeah, right about now, she's on a plane headed to Europe with Winston. And, and remember, you know, this isn't Easton. D DC's a hard place to work in. So she's got to reestablish her backbone here. And you know, Winston, hell, he just needs to establish a name for himself, period. Whatever, Dad. I'm not buying that crappy excuse, okay? But I see where her real priorities lie, and it's okay. Hi, Mom. Hi there. How are you? you? Oh, well, marriage looks good on you. <laughs> Does it now? <laughs> about time you got here. I've got places to be. Oh, hello, Baron. How are you? Oh, me? I'm doing well, thank you. For asking. Well, I'm glad I could catch the two of you in town before I left. This is a sensitive subject, and I need to run it past both of you because it needs to be handled and addressed with care. Oh my goodness, what is it now? Is it Claudia? No. Found. What did she do now? It's not so much about what she has done, but what the two of you have done to her. Jabril, don't include me in any of her shit. What's going on? So, you were abruptly told about Fallon's daughter, Raven? No. 
it seems as though Raven has a twin brother. What? Look, Dad, can you calm down? Just please have a seat. No, you told me what's going on now. Apparently. I cannot believe I'm just finding out about this. What were you thinking? Excuse me, Baron, but could you spare us the I am so concerned act? As I recall, you did not want to deal with Fallon back then. All you wanted was for me to take care of the pregnancy and make sure it stayed hidden. So now we have Raven? And what's his name? Julian? How are we going to explain this? You have made a mockery of this family. Do not sit there and blame me for everything. You are as much to blame as I am, if not more so. so can we calm down? <gasps> this is not helping the situation. Look. I figured I could bring him into the fold quietly. Quietly? How do you expect to make that happen? You expect him to be quiet about being a dad before it. I'm sure his life as a Maxwell it did not compare to ours, especially after his father was blackballed. And who do we have to blame for that one? And I'd do it again. You gave that man my money and my grandchild after what he did to Fallon. Excuse me, Baron, but I had no idea what had really happened to Fallon. I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Oh, my oh, oh you son of a bastard. How could you say such a thing? That is just disgusting what you are implying. Dad, Dad, that was completely uncalled for. I apologize. I, I'm just in disbelief that I was so oblivious that all this was happening under my roof. Look, Dad, we cannot do anything about the past. All we can do is work on the future. This is why I want to bring him to DC. <laughs> How are you going to do that? Without him knowing who we are to him. With the new advertising division. That's absurd! And a little suspicious, I might add. Well, no, see, here's the thing. Julian is a financial genius. I mean, his genes are nothing short of prevalent. I mean, <sighs> top of his class at Yale, classes at the London School of Econ. I mean, the kid is stellar if I say so myself. True Davenport. That remains to be seen. Well, since you mentioned Fallon is out of the country, I figured this would be the perfect time to bring him here and kind of screen him, get to know him. Uh, because that whole Raven situation was a disaster. We cannot have that happen again. I agree. And I've already spoken with Kat. She's on board. What? You told her? What? No, I didn't <sighs> tell her exactly who he was. Not yet. I just said this kid is a bright young professional and he needs to be on board with the company. Good. Tell her as little as possible. Okay, so it's settled. Julian will come here to DC and his real connection to this family will stay between us. Agreed. Agreed. Well, I hope you got your view to rest. It's taking you forever to get downstairs. Nice outfit. Thanks, Dad. As you can see, your money has been put to good use. Well, maybe I'll write that clinic a check as a token of my gratitude. Do it after I'm long gone. Uh, the coastal weather has done wonders for my skin, and I picked up this outfit from Bergdorf's as a present to myself. Claudia, be careful. Remember I reduced your income until you get your act together. How can I forget? No more dinners at the Gramercy Tavern. I might as well get used to standing in the chow line. Well, you know, when Dr. Chase suggested her private clinic in East Hampton, I was skeptical. 
I mean, what kind of help can somebody get at a place that doubles as a hind suite for Upper East Side di divorces? Same here. I mean, meditation on the beach, group breathing exercises, sessions in the woods. I'll admit her holistic approach to sobriety seemed a tad primitive, but I got used to it. Okay. Did you make any friends? No. I purposely remained low-key. The last thing I needed was new friends with bigger problems than myself. Uh, would asking for mimosa be too much? Come on, Dad. One mimosa won't hurt. Don't be so reckless, Clark. Fine. I'll have the sparkling water instead. Good. How are things at Wincourt? Wincourt? Well, Fallon has outdone herself. The building is downtown in Mount Vernon Square, near city center. The offices are fantastic. You'll love it. Oh, city center. Yeah. Maybe I'll stand and look at the Hermes Boutique and fantasize about owning a boutique handbag. Don't be so pedestrian. Just exercising my new budget rules. No, oh, if it isn't my married baby brother. What you doing here? I thought you would be off on your honeymoon. Uh, Brandon and I decided to make a pit stop here so we could spend a little time with his mom for a couple of days before we left. Okay. So I figured, let's stop in and check out my sister's new venture. So, what do you think? Uh, I think it looks amazing. <laughs> no, I am seriously very very happy and proud of you. Like, now you get to build your own legacy, and a plus to that is, you don't have to answer to no one but yourself. Hmm. Well, it sounds like my baby brother getting over the whole CEO position. And if that's the fact, I can take that on and this. Not so <laughs> fast. But if the that arises, I'm sure I can find somebody capable of let's, filling the position. Let's not do that. Let's not do that yet. Do that. But anyway, I'm so happy. I'm very happy, especially since Winston will be doing this venture with me. Winston Fallon of all people. Why? I thought that whole relationship situation with the two of you was done. I do not constitute working with him a fresh start. She will, I trust Winston. And besides, this would be a fresh start for both of us. Winston has worked for this family for years, and I think he has a great business sense. Business sense? Yes. Or knows how to follow orders. Or maybe it's the propensity to get his hands dirty. The funny thing is, not too long ago, he was at my door begging and pleading for a job. What? When? Couple of months back, came to my doorstep with this whole verbiage and angle about how he wants to work by my side and his allegiance to you was done. It's a bunch of bullshit. If you well, ask me. at that time, Winston and I weren't on the terms, but I can see how he could come back to you asking for a job. I mean, he's worked for this family for years. He wanted to continue to work for the family. Yeah, for this family, not for the company. That's the issue. He worked for dad, and then he was assigned to you for, I don't know, like various crises, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's obvious you don't like us. And that's fine, because I really don't care. But you need to be worried about your business, and I'm going to worry about my business. Really? Just really. Jabril, <laughs> just be happy for me. Plus, you should be off on your honeymoon. <sighs> well, when we're, when we're done here, I'll take you on a private tour. Uh, before we go to Wincorp. I'm going to visit my friend Morgan. Morgan? You, you have friends in D.C.? Yes. Morgan and I met in Columbia. Her mom thought the school was too liberal, so she transferred to Georgetown. Snooze fest. Snooze fest? What's boring about Georgetown? They have a fine, fantastic finance program, 
Hell, I have friends that would kill to get their kids in there. <laughs> well, Georgetown is okay if you're a seventh generation wasp. Where's my Kate Spade cardigan and single strand pearl necklace? There you go again. Well, when you finish college, and you will finish college, I'll help you set up your own business. Have you been thinking about that? Do you have any ideas? Davenport, perhaps? The thought has crossed my mind. I could also talk to Fallon about Wincorp. And that would inflate her ego even more. No offense, but I'd rather travel to Russia and work under Vladimir Putin. <laughs> oh, man. Claudia, sometimes your wit has no end. Merely my observations. Okay. Well, I'm getting hungry. Are you ready for breakfast? Daisy, we're ready. Yeah, girl, I know you and I have had our ups and downs, but we work through them. Well, we're working through them. And the same thing is happening with Winston and I. But the difference is we are family. Winston's an interloper. If I didn't know any better, I would think you were jealous of Winston. Listen, while you were gone off all those years on your little sabbatical, he was there with me. We went through a lot together. But again, you worry about that important industries, and we're going to worry about Winkle. Winkle. Oh. Yeah, it gets better. Um, yeah, I really got thrown off a topic. That's not why I came here, though. Ah, on to a more positive thing we can talk about. So I found him. Oh, you found JJ? Mm, no. no, not yet. Um, but don't look like that. Uh, I found your son. I see you're still getting cleaned up a little bit, but it's looking good in here. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking about, Paula? I can see the trepidation all over your face. Winston, I have a few things that I want to say to you. Things have been stressful for the past few months, and You've been going through a lot, and so have I. But our relationship isn't the same either. What makes you say that? That's what we do now. That's what you and I do now. We pretend. Both of our lives are in, in two different spaces. And from what you told me, although I hated hearing, you've experienced love. <sighs> You know, in this business, having a conscience can prove as being very dangerous. How are you supposed to fix anything with a damn conscience? Father, who said that I was going to be fixing anything for you or for anyone else for that matter? You already know in this line of business, you don't have to cut corners and cut throats. And if you're supposed to be my friend, you're supposed <laughs> friend? to Friend? Yes. Friend. We're being real here. We have never really been friends. Oh, so you've been great pretending. Everything has been on your terms. Okay? I have followed your directives. In fact, you've trusted me with your life because you paid me to. No, I trusted you with my life because I thought you were my friend. Listen, Fallon. If I am to be a true partner, I will be damn fallen if that is by name only. I am no longer working for you. I'm now working with you. And that's in the best interest of our business. Listen, enough bodies have been burned, don't you think? Listen, you know I didn't mean it that way, but you always got to be extra. Fallen. And what? We cannot continue to operate the way that we have in the past. We can't. Fallon. It just isn't feasible. Predicated on the things that we've endured. 
We can do this without misdeeds or any bloodshed. Come on. Let's just combine our efforts. Let's combine our talents. And let's combine our strength. And let's show this town why we are a formidable force. Let's show them why we are hashtag always winning. Okay. Okay. All right, Wesley. You're right. Thank you. When I said that you were my partner, I meant it. You know, I just... <sighs> I just want us to, you know, I just want this business to signify a new beginning for a friendship and a partnership. Absolutely. You know, I don't want, you know, anything from my past to hinder our prosperous future. We have to be united at all costs. This is a new journey. You know what I mean? It's a new ball game. Yeah. So Absolutely. you agree? <laughs> Just say yes. Of course. <laughs> hey, am I interrupting something? Absolutely not. And I'm surprised you're not because you usually just barge in. It's a new day. <laughs> Winston? Sir. So I just wanted to stop by to give you my, my well wishes on your new endeavor. Okay. You know, I'm very familiar with the rigors of starting a new company, and it won't be easy, but I have every confidence that through your collaborative efforts, that you will be a disruptive force in the advertising industry for years to come. <laughs> well, sir, we are honored to have your blessing. Just make me proud. And thank you, Dad, for giving me the startup money, the seed money to start my company. Baby, it, it was the least I could do. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Alan, I regret all the time I spent building my empire while my children suffered. You needed me, and I wasn't there as I should have been. I apologize. You are a beautiful, resourceful, intelligent woman. You are a Davenport. You are my firstborn. You will make an impact because I have taught you how to succeed. Honey, I just wanted to be just like you. Baby, you're better than me. I'm glad to see you guys on the way. <laughs> I can say the same about you two. <laughs> you take care of her. We'll do, sir. We'll do. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay. Come on, Austin. Let's have some lunch. All right. Thanks for stopping by, Dad. Sure thing. Please. please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Jabroom. Alan told me that you were here. Yeah, I stopped into your office a little while ago and you weren't there. Mm -hmm. That's because I've been running around gearing up for the launch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, things are shaping up rather nicely. Good. Uh, so you can go back to Easton and report to everyone at that report how good of a job we're doing. I'll see you later. Oh, oh wait, Winston. Yes. Not bro. so fast. What can I help you with? Oh, you can't help me with anything. I think you're helping yourself enough for the both of us. I'm sorry. Am I missing something? <laughs> yes. Helping yourself to Wincorp. Jabro, your sister asked me to be here. Okay? So your attempt to undermine my value at this company has fallen flat. Yes. About that, and I bet you jumped at the chance to stand behind my sister yet again. I'm standing beside your sister, building a legacy bigger than anything that you have ever imagined. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is something humorous, something funny? Yes, it's all quite hilarious. <laughs> See, why don't you take all those years of schooling and go out and build something of your own. I think like your tenure of this family's personal genes getting a little stale. 
it's clearly evident that you're threatened by me. I'm now in a position of power. You can't take it. <laughs> no, the only thing I cannot take is the fact that you betrayed my sister and now you conned her into trusting you again. Oh, okay. Well, you don't have to because I'm done with this conversation. <laughs> Anyone that can rationalize having a relationship with her enemy seriously needs their head checked out. Mm. And to think, I always thought you were the rational thinker. Yeah. <laughs> Guess we all were wrong, huh? Jabril, that little golden boy moniker they bestowed upon you has obviously done more harm than it has good. You see, you move around here and stuff, so your mistakes aren't always, you know, visible to the public eye. But I'm sure you have much darker, deeper secrets that none of us know about. Listen, if I hear that you hurt Fallon again, I will personally get rid of you myself. Are you done here? Because I have a lot of work to do. Yeah. Don't get too comfortable, buddy. All right. I should say the same about you. You know, a reversal of fortune would be apropos. <laughs> yeah. And that will happen long after your day, buddy. <laughs> Mm. Woo! Lord, I needed that. <laughs> yes, but Lord. anyway, what's going on with you? Listen, I'm still charging these assholes for every bit of my time. <laughs> they know I go to war for them. They know I'm worth every penny. You know I don't play. But other than that, I'm doing okay. We're good. Well, you know that there's an opportunity for you here. Wait, before we get into that, I happen to read this god awful article. By this fine, but god awful reporter called Davenport Deadly Deeds. What the hell is that? Uh, I happen to give that god awful reporter that story, and I used to see him for a while. I saw his picture. He's certainly fine enough. But um, <laughs> a better question is, that was dead. Oh my god, it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. But I couldn't trust him. You know what? Uh -uh. How old was he? Well, he wasn't 12. But he was a little young, but... You love but these youngins. They can go all night, girl. Let me tell you something. Especially when they want to go down on the box. <laughs> Woo! That's what he was great at. You know, girl, but... It's a piece of shit. That's the only so kind. No, no, no. Pieces of shit. That's the only kind I let eat my box. It's the liars, the cheaters, the pieces of shit. Because all they know how to do is sling the dick and eat the box. I'm just, I'm just saying. Mm-mm-mm. Just girl, you still have not changed. You know that? Listen, forget that. What? Um, so, uh, let me get this straight. What? I read that you stepped Ooh. down as CEO from DI and passed the baton to your competent but capable baby brother, Jabril. I call bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Jabril has really stepped up. You know, he calls me from time to time to familiarize himself with, you know, our long-standing clients. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I'm, I'm very proud of him. Oh, yeah. 
I was shocked when I heard the news. But Jabril has always been smart, if nothing else. I do, however, think that it was beyond fucked up the way he left. Well, the Davenport industry is no longer a concern of mine. I am focused on Wincorp, and mm-hmm. I'll be working alongside Winston. Ah, this fine ass. Girl, <laughs> would you put that thing on ice for a minute? Fine. This is an advertising firm, okay. and we'll okay. be catering to the elite clientele only, multi-million dollar accounts mm-hmm. at all. And I was wondering if my old friend Christina. First of all, who you calling old? Not true. And secondly, <laughs> I thought that trash douche bag ass whore Summer's Eve was your old friend. Okay, and did I read correctly that she was screwing that dreadlock ness monster, oh, the ex husband of yours? Oh, and was he screwing a man? Oh my. God. I heard she was in the loony bag. Christina, I don't want to rehash any of that. All of that was two years ago, and I'm trying to move ahead. But unfortunately, that was just the beginning of it. So can mm-hmm. we please just move on? Okay. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm just saying, only thing you had to do was call me, and I would have had your back. All right? We always said that we would be there for each other, remember? Yeah, but a lot of people always said that they would have my back and turn right back around and stab me in my back. And when I trust them again, they did it again. But to be totally honest with you, I was just embarrassed. Don't be silly. Embarrassed for what? You ain't the first one that been, been fucked over by someone that claimed they loved them. All right, look, you've been there for me during some really shitty times, and I just want you to know I'm there for you for anything. Okay? And besides, your ass is just as hard headed as <laughs> I don't know what. Okay? I didn't told you about that trash can eat. Mm-hmm. I even told you about that Fruit Loop man of yours. <laughs> and I told you about Cat. Don't bring that bitch name up in my new office. Because somehow I know her plastic ass had me oust as CEO. I never trusted that bitch. Even though she was a part of our clique in high school, okay. I never liked her. The problem is, she thinks that because of her name, she's on this never-ending episode of Batman. Okay? I mean, she did manage to get a Bruce Wayne, but we all know that she's a Bruce Leroy type of bitch. Okay? You got Eartha Kitt. You got Jimmy Newmar. I mean, Newmar. You got Vanity. Everybody rolling in their goddamn grave but even being fictionally associated with that strength. No, you did not bring up the last dragon in Vanity. <laughs> Your mouth out of control. You got me beat. Girl, you are crazy. <laughs> Look. I screwed. I screwed. <laughs> Straight from the hip down, ain't nothing changed. Oh my God. <laughs> So are you going to come and help me and be a consultant? I, we can use your, your expertise. And you just okay. want a discount. And bitch, you better give me a discount. Mm, maybe. <laughs> I'll think about it. Come on. Listen, all right. All right. I will help you. Thank I will you. handle all of the legal mumbo jumbo that you need. But, you know, I got you. In the meantime, let's toast. Yes. That girl. To friendship. Friendship. I miss you, bitch. Mm. <laughs> I do. I know. Oh, oh and you're welcome. Thank you, Chad. Mm-hmm. Oh. Winston. Look, I know you are extremely emotional right now. But I just want to be here any minute. And I need you to pull it together. Pull it together? I've waited 24 years for this moment. I mean, I could have had the same outcome with Raven, but your mother had her own agenda. Well, I get it. This is why I told you we need to proceed with caution. Okay. So tell me something about it. Well, he is extremely bright, very ambitious, and he has great references. Uh, He was in the accelerated program at Yale, and he also completed some courses at the London School of Econ. So he's educated. Ryan did something right. Yeah, about Brian. What about <sighs> Tell me. He died five years ago. Did? Okay. How did my son take it? I mean, did Brian ever remarry? Well, from the few short conversations that we did have, he said it was just him and his father for most of his life. Julian told me that. Julian? It- my son's name is Julian? <sighs> I like it. I mean, it's strong. It's very befitting of a dad in point. Hold up. Calm down. As of now, he is still a Maxwell. 
and that's all he has ever known. I'm going to tell you again. Relax, okay? Be patient. So where will he be? Ah, uh, should be any moment. I told him to give me a call when he was downstairs. Look, I let him know that my sister was starting up a new company, and that she was very interested in his portfolio. So let me get this straight. He is about to walk through these doors any moment, and you want me to hire him on the spot, show no emotion. Okay, great, Jabril. Thanks for the heads up. Hold on a second. Yes, Julian? Yes, come up to the fifth floor. Yes, the conference room right in front. I am here with Val. Okay. Listen. I know it's going to be hard, but if anybody can pull off a charade, it's you. So keep trying me, Jabril. <laughs> well, take your time, get to know him, and then just enjoy it. Then when the time is right, you tell him everything. I mean, I already know he's my life, so. Glad you find it so funny. <laughs> but I thank you so very much. <sighs> I really do. <clears throat> Hope I'm not interrupting. Would you both like a couple more minutes? Oh, no, come on in, Julian. There you go. Julian Maxwell, Fallon Davenport. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Davenport. You know you're a legend in the business world. It's an honor to meet you. I feel like I know you already. Miss Davenport, are you okay? Uh, yes, she is. Hi, yes, yes. I Julian. just caught off a little part with you. Hi. Business. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. But call me Fallon. Okay. Fallon it is now. Oh, yeah. Let's have a seat. <laughs> well, tell me, tell me about yourself. Well, I assumed you saw my resume already, but I can give you a brief summary. I graduated a year early from a college preparatory school in Stony Brook, New York. And after that, I studied abroad for a year. I came back to the States, where I was accepted at Yale Business School into an accelerated program for economics and finance. And after graduating, I traveled to London, where I took courses and interned at their business school. Now I'm back here, looking so, to plant my feet somewhere and carve a name for myself. Any girlfriends, um, family? What? what do you like to do for fun? Valid. <laughs> no, it's okay, Mr. Davenport. I am single at the moment, okay. but it's just because I'm focused on my career and that only right now. Well, my reasons for asking is because this is a new company, and myself and Mr. Corey would like to make sure that everybody that we bring aboard is dedicated and focused. Clearly, I'm sample, Mr. Davenport. I mean, Fallon, and that I am. As for family, uh, my father passed away five years ago from pancreatic cancer. Mm. And uh, <laughs> he always made sure my education was paid for in the event if anything oh. happened. What about your mother? I actually never met my mother. She uh, passed away giving birth to me. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. No, no need to be. You can't miss something you never had. Well, Julian, I was already impressed with your credentials and my brother's recommendation, so I guess there's just one thing left for me to say. Which is? I'm your mother. Serious, mom? Yes. <laughs> oh. Well, Julian, I was already impressed with your credentials and your recommendation from my brother, so I guess there's just one thing left to say. Which is? Welcome to Wincourt. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Davenport. <laughs> I mean, Fallon, I will not let you down. Oh, I know you won't let me down because here at Wincourt, we read nothing but success. So, you can go down to HR, ask for a guy named Greg, and he's going to help you fill out some paperwork. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Oh. Davenport. No problem. And call me Jabril. <laughs> all right. I'm not used to all this informality, but thanks, Jabril. I'll see you. See you later. And thank you, Jabril. Greg, Man, now don't we make a good team? It feels so good just to be back here doing this like that again. I told you that helping me start this company would be the best decision you ever made. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> <laughs> you had 
the president of Turner Construction, eating out of the palm of your hand. Listen, I marvel watching you in action. <laughs> to you, it may look that way because he gave me quite the pushback when I had him on the telephone. But when I got him up in my face, he was singing a total different tune. He learned of all of the benefits that we had to offer. He was begging me to join. <laughs> Listen, true with a smile. We managed to sign a joint venture with the biggest builder in D.C. Amen. Listen, I wrote one of the best proposals he'd ever seen. And you, my dear, you closed that deal effortlessly. <laughs> I swear, listen, you need to patent your ability to close a deal. You know, granted, you learned it from me. Learned it from you. Um, you just uh, helped with what with, with my father already instilled in me. Okay. I am a woman after her own determination, and I do not run from a challenge. Absolutely. You didn't know what you're up against. What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> I'm not okay. buying it. Not buying what? I'm not buying it. You should be ecstatic right now. What's that? Come here. Uh uh. Come on. <laughs> no. Come on. <laughs> You're late. <laughs> Hello to you too, Jerome. And um, I'm only 10 minutes late as a CEO. Good. Yeah. Two minutes. Um, then I don't have the Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Still traipsing around the country causing all type of trouble. Whatever do you mean, kind sir? Uh, I feel fit. It's more like trouble seems to follow me wherever I go. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we'll go with that. I'm serious, Jeril, but enough about me. What did you discover on your eight year sabbatical that uh, the world does not fly? Uh, very funny. No, but the, the time away was, it was definitely what I needed. I needed to find myself and, you know, just be able to be happy without the scrutiny of my family. And I did make some mistakes while I was away, so I've been using this last year or so to just clean up and make amends with my past. Um, I even apologized to Fallon for leaving all those years ago. Good. She didn't say it, but she was devastated after you left. She threw herself into her work after that, and by the time her candy-ass ex-husband came along, I was long gone. So, you know, I'm pissed. Too bad we couldn't prevent that from happening. Uh, I, I think about that a lot. Um, I just, I know if I was there, some of this mess wouldn't have been happening, but I just hate to think that, you know, loneliness sent her down the hall the second time. I take that use of Damien Ashby over there, Queen Clint Saunders, any day. I mean, sleeping with another man, that, that download shit is so played. And that trash can't eat needs to get her ass kicked. Besides, can we watch our language a little bit? Bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to offend, but Fallon has been through a lot. She just found out she has this daughter who has been nothing but a problem from jump. Where is Raven, by the way? I want to make up. Hmm. Raven is back in Easton. Um, I think her and Fallon actually sat down and had a little civil conversation. So I'm hoping that it's like a little, you know, mending course. Look, your sister shared that she's afraid she's not going to be a good mother because, well, because you know why. Yes, all too well. I think now she just needs people around her that she can trust and not anyone that's just going to be out for her last name or to get her money. Why, when she asked me to come on board, I accepted willingly. She's still one of my closest friends, despite her deep trust issues, but I will always be there for her if she needs me. Part of the reason I took the position is to affirm that to her. The other part is so I can loosen her behind up because her ass is so uptight. Good God. <laughs> no, listen, good luck with that one. <laughs> I, but no, I, I know you mean well. But no, it, I'm, I'm glad you got she got you in your point. It's, Almost makes it feel like old times a little bit. What? The boss man misses little old me? I'm so <sighs> flattered. Oh gosh. So <laughs> okay, okay, so are you in town for a while? No, just a little bit. I just came to see if she needed some help with anything. And 
the funny thing is I'm supposed to be on vacation, but it seems like work just keeps on piling up and my phone keeps ringing. I can't escape it. That's why we have assistants, we have a VP, yes. we have backup. Let them handle that. CEOs need playtime too. <laughs> Still a mess. Well, I am all right. But what I need to know is how is Brandon? What's he like? Is he tall? Is he fine? Does he have a fine straight brother? I mean, indulge me. I'm can we can we get something to eat before we go there with the I just, okay. just want to know about Brandon. Yeah. Food first. <laughs> uh, uh. What? Come on. <laughs> what? No. <sighs> Look out there and tell me what you see. <laughs> I see a vibrant city in, in the midst of change. Actually, a lot of opportunity. Exactly. Now shake off those nerves because we're just getting started. It's not nerves, Winston. I just, I just never thought that anything was better than Brimming Davenport. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Being here just feels so right. Yeah. Well, let those memories serve as a test. Fallon, you are a strong and resilient woman. Thanks, Winston. In fact, you're impeccable. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I got a meeting. A meeting? There's nothing on our calendar for today. Uh, it's a little quick meeting with our new junior exec. His name is Julian. Mm. I need you to take him, mentor him, and show him the ropes. No worries. You're going to like him. All right. <sighs> Let's bring Julian. Yeah, he'll be here shortly. Okay. In the meantime, we can get back to this guy here. Because I think that we need to move this from this. That's a basketball court. That's going to be on the opposite side of the building. So we're going to play. No. Oh, Julian, come in. Hope I'm not interrupting. Oh, absolutely not. I would like you to meet my COO, Winston Corey. Nice to meet you. Likewise. You guys will be working together. All right. Yes, I will be showing you the ropes. You're kind of shadowing me around here. I can handle anything. So don't hesitate to throw multiple tasks at once. That's good to know. Fallon was giving me a little backstory on you, but I'd like to inquire myself. So tell me, what exactly brought you to Wincourt? The same reason you are. Wincourt breeds nothing but success. I was asking our new hire. I'm sorry. I didn't want to align myself with the old boys club of business. And as you know, anything with Fallon Davenport's name attached to it will turn to gold. That's right. But to get there requires a lot of savvy and determination. So I like to test your level of business. Test? Must he already has the job. It's okay, friend. I didn't take offense. <laughs> I didn't mean any malice. Listen, I just want to know what your strengths and your weaknesses are so that I can identify them and build on them. Why not? That wouldn't be an issue to me. I'm professional on both international and domestic business analysis. So you studied abroad? Yeah. I attended the summer program at London School of Business, where I focus on micro and macroeconomic business data. Nice. That is a very difficult school to get into. Yeah. One of the highest in the world. <laughs> at some point, I'm sure you'll be able to climb the ladder to where I am. Consider me an indispensable asset to the team. I want to learn everything there is to know. Isn't that great, Winston? One day he could possibly be sitting in my seat. Excuse me? I didn't mean it literally. Meaning just one day Julian could probably be the CEO of his own company. Mm -hmm. This is just the beginning for him. Mm -hmm. Moving up quickly is part of my plan. Excellent. I'm glad you feel that way. Julian, what I need you to start with is to have some drafts on my desk written up. Tomorrow evening. Can you do that? Yes, I can. Good. I'll have you run up some numbers as well. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Julian, for coming in. And you'll be working with Winston, and he's going to be great. He's very knowledgeable. So I'll see you later. You know, all this talk about me, and not once did I inquire about your work history. Since we'll be working together, I think it's only right. You're absolutely right, Julian. 
But now it's not the time for that. I'm helping you now, remember? True. But you'll never know who you may need on the way up. Kind of like a right hand man. And if I do, I will speak to my friend and business partner, Fallon. Boy noted. I'll let you get back to work. It was nice seeing you, Fallon. Oh, you too. Take care, Julian. All right, you too. Hey, and Julian, mm -hmm. you should refer to her as Miss Davenport. Actually, She's a little professional. Well, Winston, I kind of told him earlier on that it was okay to call me Valor. Hmm. Have a good day, Julian. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Sharp. So, what do you think about Julian? It's okay. A little cocky. You have to be cocky in this business, Winston. No, you don't. You have to be ambitious, but not cocky. You're reading too far into it, Joe. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Winston, I owe you one. Hello. Christina Reed, and you are? Just reminding a beautiful woman standing before me. Is that right? Her name's Julian, Julian Maxwell. And who is Julian Maxwell? <clears throat> well, I'm highly motivated, intelligent, and in possession of a set of skills I believe will be extremely beneficial to this organization. Mm -hmm. Kind of the next big thing. Oh, is that right? I'm very intrigued. I like big things. All these years of education at the nation's top schools have prepared me for this kind of position. Mm. I can safely say that because of that training, I'm capable of rising to any situation. I bet you are. Have you met Mr. Corey? Yes, I just did actually. From what I hear, his reputation precedes him. Mm. But he wasn't as intimidating as he was presented. Do you know? Well, no one knows Winston except Fallon. Just know that all the rumors you've heard about him don't do him any justice. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind my asking, what is it that you do here? I mean, I already crossed off receptionist and assistant off the list. You look like a woman in charge of... Well, I do take charge, that's for sure. Just know that uh, you'll be seeing a lot of me. And if you play your cards right, that could be sooner rather than later. Keep that under advisement, Miss Reed. Please, call me Christina. Okay, Christina, it was a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure is mine. Oh, hey, Jordan. Yeah, it's Fallon. Where will the artwork be in from London? Well, I need every space in here to be immaculate. <laughs> yes. Okay, send over the invoices today. All right, you have a good day. All right, bye-bye. Hi, Fallon. Hey, Dad. I'm interested we're here. Yep. Am I interrupting anything? No, I'll just end of the conversation. Come on. Okay. Have a seat. Thanks. Can I help you with something? No. Actually, I wanted to see if I could be of any more service to you. Uh, I'm well connected in D.C. I could put you in touch with a few people. Dad, thanks for the offer, but I'm handling everything. You've done enough by giving me the capital. No worries. I'm going to make you proud. You always do, Fallon. I'm not worried about you. I, I, you've always managed to succeed regardless of the situation I put you in. Mm -hmm. but, I, but my concern is the team around you. I'm worried. Dad, don't you think I know about all this already? I know about the people talking behind my back, about everybody expecting me to fail. It will not happen this time. You promise? I promise. <laughs> okay. And besides, like, where's all this coming from? I, I heard you hired a financial analyst. Yes. And? And I went down to HR to pull his resume. And have, have you seen the resume? Yes, Dad. And he's the perfect candidate. For a paid summer intern. He's, got, he's gone to some good schools, but that's no guarantee he's the right person for this job. I wish he had looked at the list I sent you. 
You have no right coming in here trying to tell me how to run my company. This is my business. Okay? With all due respect, you're forgetting that I hired some of the most qualified people at Davenport Industries. What? <laughs> forget, forget all that. I made your bro's job easy for him. But nobody ever gives Fallon any credit, though. Fallon, I know everything you've done for Davenport Industries. Mm -hmm. You did hire some of the best people. But that, this is a different era. And we've got to be sure we have the right person in that financial analyst job. Okay. Please listen to me. You know how my instincts are when it comes to hiring people. I'm good at what I do. No worries. He's going to be great. Trust me. Okay. I, I already do trust you. Thank you. I'm going to make you proud. You already have made me proud, Fallon. He's going to be like something you've never seen before. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. All right. All right. Take care. I appreciate your concern, Dad. I really do. Okay, and I'll be in touch. I know you will. <laughs> All right now. All right. Well, isn't this a surprise? Mr. Davenport, how are you? Have a seat. Hello, Christina. I visited Fallon earlier, and she told me that you were on board as a consultant. So I stopped by to see what progress you're making on her projects. Well, I was just about to look over some of the numbers. Time is of the essence. You were hired to work, not use this area as your personal playpen. I am working. Ah, uh, work. I beg to differ. She asked me to look over any legal aspects or contractual obligations that should arise concerning the branding, the marketing, the media. I'll make sure Wincor is a success. That's debatable. But I have to admit, you are resourceful, considering where you come from. What does where I come from have to do with anything? <laughs> I forgot who I was talking to. I beg your pardon? You're still judging me, after all of these years. I have every right to judge you. You had my daughter running around behind you, getting in all sorts of trouble that always ended up costing me money. And it's because of you, she has those disgusting tattoos all over her body that make her look like she's from the projects. She's not, you are. Mr. Davenport, those things happened when we were children, okay? If you're so pressed for monies about things that transpired when I was 18, I'd be more than happy to cut you a check. Don't insult me. And don't let this cushy little situation give you a false sense of reality. Don't insult me. All of this coming from a man who poked his tiny pecker <laughs> into every <laughs> willing <laughs> co-ed <laughs> at his daughter's school. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, your God. I feel sorry for your wife. You never gave a shit about Fallon. <laughs> she practically raised herself. I am a grown woman. I rose through the ranks to the top of my law firm, and you know what? Wait, I don't have to explain shit to you. My client list speaks for itself, as you're well aware of. Your insults are laughable. Your life reads like a bad porn novel. Your insults are sad. Don't you have something else better to do, like better co-ed? Fall semester is approaching. If that were my taste, at least she'd have a pedigree. The closest you'll ever get to a pedigree is a bag of dog food. You have some damn nerve. You mess this up for Fallon, and you'll have to deal with me. Even more. Just leave. Done. Now! Jabril, I still can't believe that I met my son today. It's like, it's like a dream. It doesn't feel real. Um, I want to thank you so much for finding him. You really outdid yourself this time. Listen, I know we've had our fair share of being combative with one another, but you are still my sister. And what our parents did at that time, they figured they were doing the right thing. And I bet they never 
the long-term effects. Hell, I would have never thought the long, long-term effects that it would have had on you. And for that, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. And it wasn't right for me to do what I did concerning your child either. I mean, just because my children were taken away from me did not give me the right to keep your son away from you. And I apologize for that. See, that's the thing. We don't, we don't have to rehash that. I mean, what's done is done. And besides, I have all resources that's poured in trying to find this boy. And if it comes out that he is mine, we will deal with it accordingly. But until then, I need you to focus on something. What? Can you can you hold off on revealing yourself to Julian for now? Why? It's it's not like I'm gonna tell him tomorrow. I mean, I have to tell him at some point in time, Jabril. Yes, at some point, but just not then. Listen, this young man lost his father five years ago. That's the only parent that he's ever known, and to him, his mother is deceased. So, dealing with this news can be devastating. Just learning something like that. So I need you just to tread lightly. And not only personally for him, but it can be business-wise for your company. You just hired him at your company. New, budding, in its infancy. You can't afford to make any mistakes here. I guess you're right. I mean, I guess I can allow him to acclimate himself to the new surroundings and then some time pass by and he gets a little more familiar with things I will tell him then okay that's more like it you, you don't want to rush it I mean I know you've waited 20 plus years huh. for this moment but you gotta handle this delicately okay I can do that I think <laughs> You know what? He reminds me so much of you and dad. He has that Davenport smile. When he walked away, did you see that that Davenport posture? <laughs> when he reached out to shake my hand, I just wanted to grab him up and cradle him in my arms. Cradle. I think he's a little too old and too big I for that. I don't <laughs> care. That's my baby boy. That's my baby. Okay. <laughs> I get you, girl. Figure out why Fallon wasn't at the wedding. So what's the reason? Uh, apparently her and Winston had to take a last minute business trip to Europe. The she had to deal with these contracts. She was having problems getting money down here, so she had to go to deal with her contracts. And she she couldn't deal with that after the wedding. I guess not. Whatever. It's neither here nor there. I can't wait to go away with you tomorrow so we can finally make it about us. You and I. Me too, babe. And my mom telling, telling me how important it is that our commitment is and how we should let nobody into our new journey. Your mom. Great. Speaking of parents, I guess my dad has some pressing matters he needs to run across. Me about Davenport. Let me get this done so we can clean slate and get out of here. I guess go we'll hurry up because we gotta get back. We got things to do. How about that? I want to cook it. Uh, mm. 
Mm. No, go ahead, go do it, go do it. So we can, we can do it all night. Oh shit, hold up. Yeah, all right. yeah, I, know, I know that I get you out the door. Hey, come on in. Have a seat. This one take long. What is the urgency? Don't worry. I have everything set up for my absence. I think the company will be okay without me being in the office. Yeah, I received a very extensive email that looked like went to the entire company that covered mitigations for every contingency known to man. I just want to be able to go and relax without any interruptions. Look, I'm not saying I'm not going to check my emails from time to time, but I want to be the last resort if anything happens. Jabril, I have every confidence that your team can handle things while you're gone. Yes, uh, they work just the way I need them to. No micromanaging. I mean, that's the key to success for a business. You have good people and you let them do their job. But that's not here nor there. I really called you here today to talk to you about you. About me? Okay. What about me now? Well, business aside, um, I think it's time for a father-son conversation. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm listening. <clears throat> Jabril, this conversation is long overdue. Everything you've put, you've been through in life has made you the man you are today. You're mature. You're intelligent. You're, right, you're the CEO of her company. Those are all things that I envision for my son. And recently, when I think about my actions towards you, I realize that I've been ignorant in many ways towards you and your sexuality. And for that, I apologize. Are you, are you being serious? Look, Dad, if you're dying, just come out with it. Just tell me. Jabril, I am being serious. <sighs> I, you know, I, I should have been the adult. I should have been mature in our interactions. And instead I was childish. You, if anyone was the, the adult, it was you. You stood by what you believed in. Wow. <laughs> you. Wow. This is, you know, you're not a man of many apologies. Actually, none. This, this, this is a good thing, uh, I suppose. <clears throat> It's a good thing, but that that family therapy session, <laughs> it really opened up a lot of wounds. But I think it put us on the path to, to healing. If we accept what we've done, we can move this family forward. You are absolutely right, Dad. Thank you. I have another topic. Corinne. What about Corinne? I, we didn't get a chance to talk at the reception. How was your reunion with her? How did that go? How, things between she and I are not important. The focus really is your relationship with Corinne. I won't pretend and say that I'm comfortable with your decision to have a relationship with her at all. But when she shows you who she really is, you need to recognize that. Look, I mean, I told myself, you know, current day Corinne hasn't done anything for me to judge her character. So I figured I'll give her a clean sleep. And then if anything happens, I mean, until she shows me who she really is, I guess I have to go on that. I say again, she will show you who she really is and you need to recognize her. Okay, I get it, Dad. Don't get too close to Corinne. 
her and I aren't even rushing in to a relationship anyway. Good. Yeah, keep it that way. <sighs> okay. So, was that it? I kind of want to get back to the hotel, um, to my husband. Oh, and I also, tomorrow, I need to get some sleep because I decided to sit in on a meeting with Kat, too. So. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you, so, you already have your, your team in place? We do. <clears throat> Good. I, I, that's good to hear. But, son, this is D.C., so you're going to need your own sharks. I think, I think we got it covered. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, good. Good. Right. Happy to hear that. So, let's get out of here. I'll leave you to it. Well, give, give, give Brandon my best. Oh, we'll do oh, 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 okay. Oh. I'm proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad. <clears throat> Good night.